What's up, everyone? In today's episode, we're going to talk about Ying Ling Schmeinstein. Stay tuned. What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Luis Torres, and today we're going to talk about Ingve. So, <laughs> if you guys totally missed it, ah, oh, man, you guys totally missed this situation um, on YouTube. So, there's this guy, and I'll actually post a, a link below. Um, his YouTube channel is Six Strings TV. Uh, I'm assuming he's British because of the accent. So he kind of does his own little breakdown of what he likes about Ingve and what he doesn't like about Ingve, and then goes over his favorite or actually his interpretation and opinion on his favorite Ingve albums and goes to the worst. But he goes into all the details, including going in and sharing the albums where he kind of just says like, Hey, this album is a lot like this album, but this later album, it just sounds like he was just like, ah, I just want to push something out. And he doesn't even have a drummer. In fact, this album over here, it was literally all Ingve playing the guitar, singing, playing bass and used a drum machine that he programmed himself. Um, so, you know, so here's this one video. It was brilliant. Absolutely incredible. He went into and, and I'll, you know, keep in mind that this kid is a guitarist and Ingve is one of his all-time favorite guitarists, okay? So so it's real interesting having a super fan's take on one of his all-time favorite artists. So, he goes over this whole gamut of regarding Ingve and dude like bashes him here and there just because yo you're in the limelight that's just what happens you know um and funny enough Ingve's legal team went ahead and had the video pulled and removed from YouTube and keep in mind that this is just someone's opinion, so you can easily just say whatever you want to say because you can. Uh, apparently, Ingve <laughs> didn't like it. I'm assuming he had nothing to do with it. I'm assuming he's probably yelled at his uh, at his legal team so many times that they just catch wind of something and they immediately just flag it and they have YouTube just remove it. So, you guys all know KDH out in Ireland he picked up on this. That's where I kind of saw what had happened. Um, so, so here's KDH and he shares the fact that, you know, we live on a planet where for the most part, unless you're in some tyrant driven dictator of a country, you have your freedom of speech. And he kind of went into it and said, that's basically what this video is. So for Ingve's legal team, I'm letting you guys know that this is an opinion that we can have, that we can share. And he then takes Six String TV's video, initial video, and then runs it a second time. First time on his channel, second time overall. So I'm watching this kid in England talk about Ingve and kind of bash, like I said, he kind of bashes him here and there. Uh, to me, you know, it's just like, you know, I just think that everyone has an opinion. Anyone can say anything about anyone. I think it's funny. You know, I've actually had two YouTubers make full fledged videos 
bashing me. I think it's funny, but I'm not going to go. In fact, I actually had, you know, other people and they're just like, yo, you should just flag it and have it removed. And I'm like, why? I've gotten more views because of those videos than anything else. I just think it's hilarious. Um, but that's just the, the type of guy that I am. I'm from Brooklyn, you know, like if you can't, if you can't dish out, rather, if you're going to dish out, you have to be able to deal with being dished, right? Right? Yo, know, and like I said, like, I'm just, it's like, yo, know, if you talk to people from Boston, they're just like, yo, know, we grew up busting each other's chops. Like, you can't take it personal. In fact, you're better off laughing and just being like, this is hysterical. And that has always been my take. So I don't understand why someone like Ingve takes things so personal. And one of my buddies, <laughs> when I forgot what the show was called, but... I think it was around 2019. It was definitely pre-COVID, uh, maybe 2018, uh, where it was... And I don't remember who they all were, but I know Ingve was there. Uh, Steve I was there. I think um, Joe Satriani may have been there, right? Nuno Betancourt was one of the guitars, too. So one of my buddies went to the show in Albany, New York, and said that they all looked like they were having fun with the exception of Ingve, like you can almost feel the tension where the other guys are just like, oh, we hate this guy. Who the heck wanted this guy to be on this tour? Uh, and of course, you know, when you have someone like Ingve on your tour, you're going to have, you know, so many more participants that are going to pay for tickets and want to see you because you literally have the best of the best from 30 years ago, if you will, if you want to go that far. Um, but they're all together, and that's cool just to see. You know, if you're in your 50s or 40s, then you grew up at that time. Um, so they were the, you know, the the all-time best musicians. And, and it, again, it's just a cool show to see. But everyone for decades understands the ego that Ingve has. And so, again, you, you know, I, I have two friends that went to the show, and they're like, you could tell that they were just like, this guy, what is going on? Like, bro, stop already. Um, and I'm assuming he's just you know, doing his sweeping and just... And again, listen. Ingve, absolutely incredible. I know one of you ding-dongs is going to be like, you're just jealous because you're not Ingve. Yo, I, I don't, I don't want to be Ingve. There already is an Ingve, And there's a Steve Vai. And I appreciate the years that they took to get there, to take things to another level. Ingve is Ingve. If you don't like what he does, you have to, at the very least, as, as a musician, appreciate the crazy things that he does. Uh, whether you call it mechanical or not, it's just something that a lot of us can't do. So, with that, I can't imagine that six-string TV's YouTube episode or even KDH's episode is going to prevent Ingve from buying more Ferraris from 1985 like the you know what does he have a 328 you know which is literally the car that was used in uh in uh what in Miami Vice in 1985 86 you know he even has a a, a Ferrari 360 Modena it's just like bro what are you doing with all these old Ferraris so just know that most of these cars, like the 360 Medena, you can buy those for like 70 grand now. You can get a 328 for like, I don't know, 28,000. Not really, but it's probably in the 40 to $50,000 range. So they're not these terribly expensive, you know, it's not a Californian where you're going to spend 180,000. So I just think that he's into the classic Ferraris and that's cool. But I can't imagine that two YouTubers videos and episodes are going to prevent people from wanting to see his shows because he's Ingve. Um, maybe some will be like, nah, I'll pass. He's kind of corny. Um, and I think he is. And I think a lot of people kind of look at him like that, but it's still Ingve, you know, and, and that will never, you can never take that away from Ingve, Ingve being Ingve, you know, uh, and <laughs> of course the one classic video where, uh, Dimebag Daryl offered uh, Ingve a donut, and he's like, I don't eat donuts, 
Bro, have you looked in the mirror? You look like you eat a dozen donuts every single day. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this made you laugh. I don't know if this video is going to be taken down. I hope not, but who knows? I just think it's funny that, you know, his team is like, must get this removed so he can buy more Ferraris. Ay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys, hey, thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. There is a new link below in all of my videos, which is called the thanks um, button. And it's a little heart. Wah, wah. And you can make a freaking donation and be like, yo, what's up, my Louie Lou? I love you so much. Here's five bucks. Um, so they're actually all going to be in every video, which is great. And, um, and thank you for supporting. You guys are awesome. And thank you for everything throughout the years. I'm going to be uploading more videos later today. I just got this pedal, which is the VFE Dragon, which is literally, let me see if I can find one really quick. It is basically the VFE standout, which is a boost pedal, but this one has a drive. So it's this pedal with a drive. It is absolutely incredible. So guys, stay tuned for those. Love you, one love. Hope you guys are having a great week and barbecuing your tail off. And as usual, this gorgeous guy with the gray hair, we'll talk to you soon. Ingve, don't remove my video.